This episode of My Conversation is sponsored by Taylor's American Indian Shop. Hey, welcome back to My Conversation. Good morning, everybody. Austin Reed with you. Uh, Thank you so much, as always, for joining us weekdays 10 to 1030 after Access Hollywood Live, only on KAIL. It is another sweet show for you. I want to introduce my studio audience and our viewers to my next guest. Give it up for Shane Arnold from Foster's Freeze in Sanger, California. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate it. How you doing today? Pretty good. Good, good. So Foster's Freeze. Yes. How long have... No, you, so you're the local owner and operator in Sanger, right? Yeah. I, yes, I own the uh, location in Sanger, California. However, okay. the, the brand has been around since 1946. And how many locations are, are, are there in California? There's a lot, huh? Yeah, there's 79. At our peak, there's a little over 250. Huh. But um, the brand has changed hands so many times and a lot of store owners have retired, so the brand has shrunk it's, it, it, it's very cool, though, having a Foster's Freeze in Sanger because you're, you're the only one in Sanger. Yep. And uh, Foster's Freeze, though, delicious. You yeah. guys, I mean, and, and, and it's not just ice cream. You have much more. Yeah, no, it started as just ice cream. Did it? Oh, Yeah, okay. so it started huh. just as an ice milk soft serve company in 1946. And uh, we started to fall behind be, behind other franchisees and other restaurants, so they added the food line. I'm not sure when they added that. But they added the food, and we have delicious products. We have the, the, uh, the Big Boss, which is probably our best seller, the Old Fashioned Double Decker. Those are our three staple hamburgers. And um, now that comes, obviously, is, is that like, and, and it's the meal deal, right? You get the fries and, and yeah, you can or, get the or you could do just the burger. Yeah. The okay. de- definitely you save more money getting the combo. I mean, if you were to buy those items separately, it would obviously be more. So definitely get the combo. Now you also have uh, chicken. Yep, we have uh, our chicken strip is uh, high quality, um, Tyson chicken strips, so they're really good. And uh, okay, so uh, on top of that, now the the, the ice cream, like mm-hmm. you said, that's that's unique. Yeah, let's talk about the ice cream. Yeah. The ice cream is 100% patent pended. There's not another soft ser- serve ice cream like that. Even the way the cone is shaped is patent pended. So we have a cylinder shape. I wish I would have brought a cone, but it would have melted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So, or I would have eaten it all. <laughs> yeah, you would have eaten it. So it's cylinder shaped, and uh, the the ingredients are patent pinned and the shape. So you won't find it anywhere else. And you've different flavors too, right? Uh, we just soft serve. We just carry uh, vanilla, chocolate, okay. and half and half. However, we do have fresh fruits oh. and uh, candy flavors that you can mix, and we call those twisters or parfaits, or you can make a shake. So, so uh, your, your, your customers in Sanger at Foster's Freeze, uh, what, I'm sure you, 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 uh, every day you, you have new customers, but then you also have uh, longtime customers, huh? Yeah, we have some of the best customers because they remember cool. going as kids sure. from you know, the 70s. The store opened in 1974 in Sanger. So you have that history. They come oh, in. It's, oh, Foster, oh, wow. Yeah, that location has been there since 74. Okay. Yeah, so you have history. People come in there and they'll say, I remember sitting right there with yeah. my dad when I was a kid. And it's like an older gentleman. And you're like, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Time flies. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the memories and the memories too. Um, now, so uh, how did you get involved with Foster's Freeze? So I was an employee. Uh-huh. I started working at Foster Freeze in 2003. Okay. Um, I had a great boss. His name was Scott Carl. And uh, he was retiring out of the business. And there was an opportunity for me and my partner, Minnie Medina, um, to purchase. And uh, things aligned. And we went ahead and went from employee to owner. And has it, uh, has it been hard? Um, the first three years were the hardest because I had to undertake a lot of remodeling. I had to update the store appliances. Mm-hmm. and. A lot of employee training, and nobody wants to listen to a 26-year-old owner, you know? So it was a little difficult. (laughs) But you're an entrepreneur. (laughs) I got it done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bringing that up, um, for for young uh, business owners uh, that are watching today or or entrepreneurs, Mm -hmm. what would your advice be? Stick with it. Definitely. A lot of people gave me a lot of flack for staying in the fast food business, Mm -hmm. but... If you stick with it and you execute, things usually evolve. Are you hiring right now? Um, I'm always hiring. Always hiring. Yeah, the fast food business is constantly an open door um, because of the hours and the scheduling. So if somebody is in Sanger and they they want a flexible schedule Mm -hmm. um, and a family environment, definitely come by and see me. 
Very good, very good. Um, we've got about a minute left. Anything else that you that uh, for our viewers that maybe some some tidbits or, or information that uh, they should know about Foster's Freeze? Um, yeah, you know the the Foster Freeze brand was actually the first franchise fast food restaurant in California, so it was huh. actually at one point even bigger than McDonald's. Yeah, we were we were the restaurant <laughs> back in the day. Interesting. So yeah. that, that and that's so that's kind of cool that you're a part of it today in 2017. Yeah, just really quick. The company was just purchased actually by um, some new investors, and they have new store models that they're going to be rolling out in the, the next uh, two years. And the new store models are amazing. They're updated. Um, do you also real quick? Do you do any kind of like uh, offer any fundraising or with schools or? Um, I don't really do uh, charity or fundraising like in a hold of organizations, but I will pick out certain students in the community okay. and I donate directly to them. Awesome. Especially because in Sanger, it's, it's Sanger's a little tight knit community. Yeah, it's a small town, and we have people coming by asking for jobs or that hey. Um, this one late girl, she came by and literally asked me for a donation. She was like 4.6 student. She needed money to go to a college event to get scouted or to get registered or something. And I went ahead and I pulled a fundraiser for her. So I do things like that in the community. Very good, very good. I love that. Okay, um, phone number. Maybe it, it, hey, somebody they need a job, and, yeah. or or they just or they just uh, more advice from a young uh, a successful entrepreneur here in the Central San Joaquin Valley. How do they get in touch with you? Uh, you can go on www.fosterfreeze.com, find your local um, Foster Freeze, like them on Facebook, and go have a good ice cream treat and a burger. Uh, oh, uh, hours? Uh, most locations are open from 10.30 to 10. Friday, Saturdays, we close at 11. Okay, awesome. Shane Arnold, Foster's Freeze and Singer, give him a nice round of applause. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to check out Foster's Freeze and in Singer. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You're watching my conversation. And when you go to Foster's Freeze, tell them you saw them right, uh, Shane, right here on my conversation. This episode of my conversation is sponsored by Taylor's American Indian Shop.